Hey guys, good morning. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Rins Kadauna and this is my art channel. Today I will be working on a 50 by 100 centimeter canvas. It's a piece for a client of mine and she loves the color palette I used a couple of years ago. I still love this color palette as well, but she doesn't want a split base in this canvas and a certain composition. So let's go for that. All right, so I already covered the canvas with white and I'm just torching out all the air bubbles here. And then uh, let's start creating this composition. And I was thinking of going this and then from the middle, just a little bit like this. I didn't mix that much of the olive green. This is olive green, by the way. And then I'm gonna go in with violet. So two quite dark colors on top of each other. All right. Then I'm gonna go in with a magenta. So this is lighter, of course, it's a lighter color. So it would be interesting how I would like to, you know, blow this out. I think maybe we need here something. And then let's end with gold here. So it, today it's not on my spinning table, you see. It's uh, just on my stand. Quite a lot of gold, I must say. So I don't know if I have enough uh, white on canvas to let this flow immediately. I can't see that. <laughs> I'm trying to see it. Uh, but I think I do. But we will see with the first blowout. Okay. I'm gonna start here, that way. Yeah, I'm gonna blow a little bit of the white over these colors, because I think otherwise the gold will be so, so prominent here. It's good I'm doing this because this way I could see that I did not have enough of the white in some parts. So let's pour a little bit more white against some edges here. Okay, well, I hope that's not too much. I think this should work now. It's always quite nerve wracking. This looks crazy now, by the way. But it's always quite nerve-wracking to do the first blow to see how everything is looking. All right, well, here we go. Well, that does look quite nice, but then I want... I should have put this on my spinning table so I could spin it around and... <laughs> You know, uh, stand where I want to stand with the, with the blow dryer. Let's see. Yeah, so I think I will blow here as well. Yeah, I'm do that.
well, I think the colors are super dark. Uh, but I am liking this composition here. Yeah, I would like to tweak a little bit with some mouth blowing and as well uh, create some cells in this. Um, but I'm worried that the middle part is gonna try so, so dark. Let's pop some cells, shall we? Alright, and the composition for my client needs to be horizontal, so I think that's perfect. Um, I'm really liking the composition. Yeah, but I would have liked to have some more softer parts in this. Of course, here it's softer, there it's a little bit softer, here as well. I would love to blow this part a little bit up. I don't like uh, the edge here. What are you guys thinking? You know, I'm so used to doing the Dutch blooms lately, that uh, this is different again. This is really different again. You know what? Do you know Tina Inspired Art? She creates such a similar composition and then uses a brush or something else to really create leaves on this. And this might be super interesting to try because I think it's perfect for that. But then again, it's for my client and she didn't ask for that. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she will love that. I will blow this out a little bit more. I do think this is quite nice now because it's now super soft here. And that looks a lot better because this is so, so dark. So maybe I should do that here as well and blow a little bit more up and create as well a more softer look. I'm gonna do that, yeah. It's a risk. It is a risk. Well, that does bring this together really in my opinion and no it looks so dark here but there are so many colors really yeah i'm i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave this i think the composition is stunning and uh, horizontal i think it will be super beautiful yeah i'm gonna leave this so stay tuned for the dried end result